Well, the forestry and wood manufacturing sector in Ontario is a very important industry because it includes companies that have both ends of the supply chain. Here behind me is a, is, is a pile of lumber ready to go into the mill. And at this particular operation, this lumber is going to be uh, cut, then kiln dried, and then milled into uh, flooring. So here you've got an operation where you've got a part of the company actually runs the bush lots, cuts down the trees, processes the lumber, and then actually supplies the other side of the business. This particular company makes high quality solid flooring. You'll find the same thing as well uh, in, in other manufacturing operations where they're manufacturing furniture and other solid wood products where you've got the supply chain and the manufacturing operations very close together. A lot of people uh, don't realize that it's second only to the automotive industry, uh, the forest industry and, uh, and wood products industry is very important to Ontario's economy. Uh, reaching into southern Ontario, there's a lot of secondary manufacturers and um, also you look at the whole construction trades and uh, people that use wood. So it, it's very important to our industry. We have Canada's largest market. We have 38% of the uh, construction market in Canada too, so there's another huge opportunity for our industry. Well, this uh, facility is FSC certified, so that means we're certified to be sustainable and renewable in our consumption of logs. Um, the forests in the area actually have 10% more growth now than they did 20 years ago, so our forestry practices have definitely improved over the 1950s and the way it was done back then. Uh, the way it's done now, when we harvest a bush lot, it can be reharvested in the same volume within 10 to 20 years, so that means it's a renewable crop for the farmers. Uh, and certainly when it comes into here, we become much more efficient in how we harvest it. We've got uh, laser guidance systems, 3D imaging, all calculates the best cut on the saw, make sure we don't waste anything. And anything that uh, does come out in the way of a byproduct is all sold in the form of chips, sawdust, and can be used in multiple different industries from there. We bring in raw mulch produced by several different sources. It is the, what's left over from the tree in the production of lumber. Many, many years ago that was just disposed of. We now use it. So it's, it's great to be in a business where we're recouping some of what used to be garbage. We are now making a, a saleable product that uh, most homeowners use to enhance their homes. And we're very pleased to be a part of that renewal of that uh, resource. Well, really, in terms of technology, I think the wood industry is one industry that really has one foot in the past and one foot in the future. Uh, there's a lot of logging operations and, and bush lot operations that still like to use traditional methods because often those are the best methods to have the, the, the lowest impact on the environment. Um, however, technology plays a large part to, be, to increase your efficiencies. Uh, so I would say that, you know, with the wood industry in southwestern Ontario, it's still a mixture of old school and old skills and with new technologies as well. We're looking for young people that are physically fit uh, with uh, good schooling that we can promote within our company. We got about three different tiers of people. We've got entry level people that will basically are, are laborers. That's your shoe into the place, you know. We recognize skills and people that want to work and, and do a good job. So you're not long if you've got it, the right attitude to show up for work every day and, and willingness to learn. You're, we're not long training you on different types of equipment. We get operator positions and, and uh, marketing positions where you know it's it's the next step up you start taking ownership for the product and and for the material going out and then the rest is management above that i think all of the companies that we work with will will tell you that they are really looking for somebody who's interested in in, in making an effort uh in someone who's, who's who's reliable they put a lot of value in their employees and then most of these companies are willing to train so long as they got the right attitude and the willingness to work. So I really think that there's a whole Canadian culture built around the wood industry where you've got people that are very passionate about what they do 
Um, they're not pretentious, they're down to earth people, they're very hard working, so there's a lot of integrity behind the businesses and how they're run.